Hey everyone, in this video what we are going to do is we are going to install a PowerShell uh, Microsoft Teams module so that we can connect to Microsoft Teams uh, using PowerShell. So in order to do that, right, uh, what you have to do is you have to make sure like you have a PowerShell in your system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in PowerShell. So I have PowerShell in my system, so that should be okay. I'll run it, run it as administrator. And if you see here, I have a PowerShell opened up in my system. Now, first and foremost, right, by default, uh, Microsoft Teams model will not be installed in all the system. So you need to install it manually. But in order to do that, right, you need to have uh, some prerequisites uh, uh, which you have to fulfill. Right. For example, you have to download the uh, net framework 4.7.2. So let's download this and, you know, use this installation. So let's see where the installation is. So we are, uh, I'm using uh, Windows 10. So I'll click on Windows 10 so 2016. So now what I'll do is download framework 4.8. It says 4.8. But I think uh, it should be fine even though if we install 4.8 because that's the higher version from uh, from um, 4.7, right? So let's download. Okay, I'll download now. So it's 116 MB. That's what I can see right now. So let's wait for 10-15 uh, seconds and get this completed. Okay, so the file is downloaded. I'll open this file now. <coughs> I'll install. So it is preparing for the setup, extracting files. I'll pause the video for now till it completes the extracting. Okay. So it looks like uh, we already have a uh, 4.8 uh, installed on this computer. So let's see in your case, right? If you do not have this installed, then you can uh, you know, proceed with installation, like uh, click on continue and follow the next, next steps, read the agreement and finish. So by that, by doing that, you will um, uh, have the installation completed for .NET Framework 4.8, right? Now, what we are going to do is we have to install um, PowerShell uh, get by copying this. So let's do that. So it says uh, you want to install uh, this now. We'll say yes. So the installation is uh, getting completed. Okay, so the installation is completed for this. Now what we'll do is we'll install the Microsoft Teams module. All right, so the installation is happening and the installation is completed. Now, since installation is completed, right? So what we can do is we can try importing the Teams module. So I'll try. Microsoft Teams, hit enter. Okay, so the module looks like the model is imported. Now what we'll do is we'll uh, create a, a variable uh, called credential to get credential okay enter now it is asking you for the username uh, and the password so this username is going to be uh, the one 
how do you log into uh, you know Microsoft Ad Admin Center so let's try this okay I just keyed in the credential now what I'll do is I'll, I'm not sure if that password is going to work but let's give it a try uh, I'll enter this says connect Microsoft Teams and we'll enter as credential let's see if uh, the connection goes through all right so if you look at here uh, we are connected to uh, the teams uh, uh, microsoft teams successfully so this is uh, how we generally connect uh, to microsoft team and this is how we install the module now let's see if i have to get the um, instance right so for example get cs online application instance so we should get some instance over here uh, looks like we do not have any instance at this moment but however if we have to uh, i mean uh, um, i think if we create some sort of instance then we should get some instance uh, let me try something else then get cs user call settings uh, uh, and i'll make it as identity as Ekananiet, and let me copy the domain name from here. Let's see if we get something right. So we get this information. So this clearly shows us right that uh, uh, this data is coming from Microsoft Teams. So this clearly shows up uh, that we are connected to uh, Microsoft Teams successfully. So now, <clears throat> now. In the next video what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how do you actually uh, you know assign number to the users or to the accounts right so so that the account can do you know enterprise calling all right so i hope this video is informative for you thank you for watching